This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at how we can chat with our data using Llama Index. So this here is a report, annual report of Tata Motors. So this is a 446 page document. So I want to get some insights from this document, right? So basically I want to query this document, okay? Or I want to chat with this document. So for this, I'll be using Llama Index. Llama Index is a data framework to help you build LLM apps. So it offers data connectors to ingest your existing data sources. It could be APIs, PDFs, Docs, SQL, etc. You can structure your data in the form of indices or graphs so that this data can be used with your large language models. It provides an advanced retrieval query interface over your data. Feed in an LLM input prompt, get back retrieved context and knowledge augmented output. Okay, and then it also you know allows integrations with other uh, uh, outer application frameworks like Langchain, Flask, Docker, ChatGPT. Okay, right. So with just very few lines of code, you can now chat with your data. So they have tutorials over here. There's a starter tutorial. Okay. So for this, what you require is they currently make use of you know if you go to the installation and setup, they currently make use of uh, open AI GPT-3 as default, right? Uh, Texda WinC003 model is default. So you actually require an open API key, right? But you can also customize the large language model, which I'm not covering in this video. Maybe in a future video, I'll cover that. But for the moment, I'll be using open AI's GPT-3. So for which I'll create an API key over here, right? I've created an API key. So now let's go to our collab notebook. Okay, so it's already up and running. What I've done is that I have copied my, uh, you know, annual report PDF data into a folder called data over here. Uh, and first thing which I need to do over here is I need to install PyPDF. Okay, I didn't know this. I just installed Llama index first. And then when I tried to run it with this PDF file, it gave an error. So I had to install PyPDF. And I also had to install python.n because the open AI um, API key was not getting set properly, right? So I found out from another, uh, you know, blog or a uh, like from an issue uh, response on GitHub, I found out that this is a way to do it. Okay, it did not work by default. So what I'm doing over here is I'm installing llama index py pdf python.n. Okay, then I import OS, I import open AI, and then I set up the open AI API key over here through these lines of code. Okay. Then what I do is that from Llama index, I import a vector store index and a simple directory reader. Okay. And from the simple directory reader, I point it to my data and I call this load data function, which actually converts, reads my PDF, converts it into a text document and it stores it as, you know, documents, a list of document. Okay. Then from that, I can use this vector store dot index from documents to create an index. So what is internally happening over here? This text is read and it is actually sent to open AI to get embeddings. Okay. And once you get that embeddings, those embeddings are indexed in the vector store. That is what is happening over here. Right. Now I can create a query engine. Okay. So query engine is indexed as query engine and I can then get uh, you know, run a query like this query engine dot query. So I ask a question like what EV did Tata launch recently? So which um, uh, electric vehicle did Tata launch recently? And then I print the response. Okay. So just in this, you know, uh, three plus three, six lines of code, I have actually indexed the document, right? Uh, I've converted my, I have read, uh, basically my document is read, uh, PDF is converted to text, it is converted into embeddings, embeddings are indexed in a vector store, a query engine is created, and here is my query, right? And what it does is that it, uh, you know, retrieves the context from uh, this particular vector store, and then it actually uh, sends the context to OpenAI and gets the response back from uh, your GPT-3, okay? And it says Tata Motors recently launched Tigor EV, which is the only EV in the country with the uh, GNCAP four star rating. Okay. So it gave me the relevant answer, which I was looking for. Okay. Now by default, this index is present in memory, but you can persist it. 
so once it is persist next time you need not build this uh, index or uh, this thing you can just directly load it from uh, you know from this storage context you can load it and you can build your query engine okay for example that is what i am doing over here uh, index dot storage context dot persist when i do this by default it gets stored in this dot storage okay in this storage folder under the current path it gets stored over here okay so once it gets stored over there i can now launch it again right for that what i need to do is that from lama index i have to import storage context and load index from storage and then what i can do is that i can rebuild the storage context from storage context from defaults basically this particular directory where it is present and i can load that index so once the index is loaded i can create a query engine index as query engine again i can ask for a query right query engine dot query what are the new cars introduced by tata motors and i can get the response back that's the response which is shown over here the new cars introduced by tata motors are tata punch tigor ev express tv is gold petrol so it gives these new launches okay these are actually present in this particular report if you see it but this is a 410 page report right so it should be present somewhere in this uh, report of the new launches okay right so then let's look at uh, you know kind of how can you summarize with using um, uh, say llama index so all you have to do is that in the query engine when you are instantiating it you have to uh, keep the response mode as tree summary so this is a kind of summarization and then i ask a query like summarize the financial result there's a typo over here right of tata motors uh, you know from this report so it actually when i print the response it says tata motors reported a revenue of you know so if you look for these numbers in the annual report right you have this particular table which talks about financial results for uh, you know uh stand alone results for financial year 2022 and here are the results right this 1000 uh, crores and uh, this 47000 crores total expenditure and other things is being shown over here right so it is kind of pull that out uh i said financial results of tata motors and but here you have these stand alone and consolidated as well so maybe i need to ask the consolidated one over here in this query okay right um so this is about summarization now what if you want to run this in a loop kind of you know to chat all right so that is very simple uh, you, you index from the index you create a query engine and while true query you get your input you send the uh, query as input to query engine um dot query get the response print the response so that is what i am doing over here so i ask like what are some of the commercial vehicles released by tata motors and it says some of the commercial vehicles are these things a uh, right a uh, sigma range of uh, signa range prima tipper tractor range of trucks these things are the tata punch tata nexon eve okay these kind of things right now let me ask like you know what are some what are some stand out features stand out stand out features features of tata Nexon EV Max. Let's see what is the response which comes back. Okay, some st uh, standard on features of Tata Nexon EV Max include a what forty point five k lithium ion battery pack, certified range of four thirty seven kilometers, fast charging. So it gives me a very good response over here. All right. So in this way, you can actually quickly build a. Uh, a chatbot or you can chat with your data using llama index in a future may video maybe i'll cover on how you can customize various aspects like you know the vector store what kind of db can you use vector db can you use for the vector store or what if we use a uh, open source large language model instead of open ai's gpt3 right so we can do things like that um, so i'll probably do it in a future video i hope this video is useful for you i'll be putting the link to this particular collab notebook in the um, description of the video i'll be also putting a link to llama index you can go and check it out i hope this video is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video